Welcome back to Titan Souls. I just defeated the Yeti up here, off to the side. Now that that's done, let's go up here. Hmm. Is this actually a boss arena? I guess we're about to find out. Yes, it is. Okay, so punches me from the ground and shoots a laser beam at me. All right. Okay, so you can see it under the ground. I see that. Now, where do I need to shoot it? I'm focusing on dodging, but I need to actually look at it itself and figure out where I need to shoot it. Where's its weak point? And it looks like it's throwing out, like, a bunch of stuff when you get close to it. It's giving out, like, a cloud of something. I don't know if it's a cloud of instant death or what. I'm actually going to try getting hit by the cloud to see what happens. Uh, okay, it just pushes you away. Okay. Uh, wait, what just happened? Wait a minute, something just happened. It just, like, uh, the ice hit its eye or something, or it's... Oh, is it protecting itself? What is it doing? Alright, I'm gonna ignore the thing chasing me. I'm just gonna run around and just look at it. Oh, I see. It looks like it's got a little um, opening in, in like its teeth or whatever. Oh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's it. Um, I'm not sure if I like. I saw the ice going towards. It looked like the eye on the right side here, and it seemed to react when that happened. I'm not sure if I'm just misreading what happened, but I feel like maybe the ice shot out one of its things protecting it. Maybe. Just kind of accidentally. Wow, so it took me like 40 to 50 attempts for the Yeti, but I defeated this one in, what was that, two attempts? What a difference. I think I really did just pick, like, the hardest enemy in this whole damn area. Although I can't quite say that yet, because I haven't actually encountered the other ones yet. Let's see what's up here. <laughs> Look at that. I was wondering if there'd be slippery physics when you're on the ice, and there is. Wee momentum. Ooh, there's got to be some secrets back here. I don't know if that's a secret or just a normal area. But yeah, this game does have secrets, and I want to find them. What's that? Uh... I don't know if I want to go to another area. I wasn't finished with the last area. Alright, looks like I've arrived in hell. Oh, no! Back down! What have I done?
Oh my. Ah, the music is so cool. Alright, so this is an entirely different area. Yeah, this is not a special boss. This is a whole different place. So, forget this place for now. Let's continue on and finish the place up above. I think there's one more boss, I want to say. Yeah, is there something special over here, right? Nope. Hmm. Notice there's a cave to the right that's covered up by ice. I wonder if there's a way to, like, melt it and get in there. Oh, look at this, you can skate so far. What do you bet there's a boss arena where you actually have to fight it entirely on ice? So you're doing like, you're doing like this, you got so much momentum and then you have to aim your shot while moving. Ugh. Oh, well, look at that, that's so cool! When you, there's like counter force. When you go to suck in your arrow, normally if you're on land, it tries to move, you don't. But if you're on ice, it actually sucks you into it. <laughs> that is so cool! Yeah, there's something going on here. I see like some sparklies. I don't know, there's something going on there. So I think if you step over this thing, it tells you if you've got them all finished. Yeah, you see there's a unlit part on the right side. I think that means there's one boss left. Which I'm guessing is actually probably the one down there. Covered up. If it's directionally accurate. Also wonder if there's anything inside of these, since you can apparently break them open by rolling into them. Anyways, open up there. Did I go off to the left? Or is this where I came from? This might have been where I came from. Yeah, I believe that's where I came from. Right? Yeah, I think so. I think I have to go to the lava place. Maybe if I finish the lava place, it'll heat up the river that leads down to the thing and melt it, maybe? Hmm. And is there any way to get over there? Not that I can see. Actually, wait a minute. Here's something. Ooh. Yeah, this is definitely something. This has got to be a secret. Go in there in a second. Secret boss? Possibly. Looks like there's a picture of me at the bottom. Or at least a humanoid. Not sure what to make of the rest. Humanoid shape, I see some mountains at the bottom, some bigger mounds a little bit behind that. And then I have no idea what the main thing is above it. Yeah, so I think it's just this piece of artwork. I don't think there is a boss here. Nope. 
It's weird that there's these pillars, though. Raised platforms with nothing on them. Okay, well, I think it's time to go to the Fire Realm. all the way down there. Kind of a roundabout way. So yeah, this river, this frozen river, leads down to the thing that's frozen over. So if I could heat this up, it would probably melt the entrance down there and allow me to get inside. So that's what I'm thinking. Maybe I have to do something here, because this is like the fire realm. Maybe. We'll see. There's a secret entrance behind the lava. Neat. I thought there might be something back here. Alright, well before I do any of that, I need a save point. Music is really so cool. There we go. It looks so friendly! Look at its smile! Oh, I just want to hug it. Oh. It burns like the love in my heart. It is actually kind of cute. It looks like it's sweating. Let's see what happens if I do this. Where's the arrow? Perfect. Alright, I'm gonna suck the arrow back into me and hit it. Alright, that didn't do anything. I... <laughs> okay, that was a quick death. Alright, shoots out flame balls, I hit one of them. Sucks them back in, including me, and it spits something out. Also, a good question is, where's its uh, weak point? Maybe anywhere. Wow, okay, so it blows up the... Maybe I need to explode it. It's like an avoidance fight, actually. Because it throws those dots out and you have to avoid them. It's, it's kind of like an avoidance boss fight. So first thing I need to try, and it's probably not going to work, but first thing I need to try is just shooting it straight up. It's unlikely, because that seems like it would be way too easy if you just shoot it and it dies. There's got to be a weak point, and I know that the things it shoots out, when those get hit by the fire things, they explode. Could be potentially utilized to help me. Did it? Did it eat my arrow? Where's my arrow? Oh god, it sucked in my arrow! Oh! 
Oh my god, that is so freaking cool! I just realized how this works! I, I want to explain it, but I'm trying not to die. Let me see if I can actually execute it. Come towards me! I need to blow it up! Now that the arrow is inside of it, when I go to pull in my arrow, it actually sucks the enemy- Oh no. So yeah, you shoot it, it sucks up the arrow, and then when you go to retrieve your arrow back, when you go to do the pull maneuver, when you do... This. It pulls the arrow which is inside of it, so it pulls it towards you. So I think what you need to do is get it towards one of those things that explodes and have it blow up. So you don't kill it with the arrow directly, you use the arrow to control the enemy to blow it up. That is so cool. What a clever mechanic. So I can't just shoot it straight up, just right away. There we go. So I need it to, I, do, I just need to wait and wait till it throws out stuff like that, yeah. Um, I actually need it to throw those things out towards more towards the center of the room. It can't be too close to the side. Come on. I'm not sure what exactly triggers it to shoot out the thing. Oh god damn it. Yeah, it seems like there's something that triggers it to actually throw out one of the bombs. I'm not sure what it is. I don't know if it's distance. It might be distance. Damn it, I missed. Just kill me. <laughs> it's faster. gonna be really hard. I really need those bombs to be more towards the center. Such as that. Damn it. Ah, it's hard to tell when where those things are gonna land. It's gonna be hard. I can't move it too fast. I really can't move it very fast. I do need those bombs to be more towards the center. Can't be too far to the side or I'm not really gonna be able to suck them into it. Oh no. There we go. <laughs> I love the animation for that. Getting them closer. Don't suck me in! Ooh, ooh. Come on. Oh. I've got to be behind the bomb, basically. Oh, man. No, that's way too close to the wall. Can't be there. Come on, throw it in the center. Oh, <laughs> okay, that can happen, too. Yeah, so I need to be behind the bomb to suck him into it, otherwise I'm going to be sucking him to the side. Alright, so I gotta suck the boss just right to make him blow. <laughs> I can't believe I just said that. Actually, I totally can believe. Damn it! Damn, fire was covered up by the name at the bottom. And what, is, what actually is the name at the bottom of the screen? I've never really looked at it, to be honest. They're not English characters, are they? I'm gonna look at it this time. I've seriously completely ignored that text. Oh yeah, they're not English characters. I'm, 
I'm guessing the fight's probably not over, even after I do that. I'm guessing he's probably gonna explode and turn into like a tiny ball or something, or maybe something's gonna happen with the crystals in his head. And then I can retrieve my arrow and shoot it for real. I mean, I would like it if it was over after I did that, but let's be realistic. Oh, that was close. Ah, there's like no way out of there. It's hard, because I go to suck him in. But while I'm sucking him in, he's throwing the things. Um... You know, he's made of fire. Or, I shouldn't say he, I don't know what the, I don't know if it has a gender, or, or what the gender would even be, even if it did have a gender. But it... It is made of fire, which means if it touches the bomb, it's going to explode. It doesn't just have to be those dots that touch it. I don't know if that helps anything, but it means I don't need him to throw the crap at my face. Like, I don't need that stuff to activate it. I don't know if I have an opening other than when he's doing that, though, but let me try. Let's see. Damn it! I can suck him into me when he's sucking... It's sucking me. I don't think that really works, though. I think the suckage probably counteracts each other. There we go. Alright, throw towards the center. Don't get too close. Alright, that's gonna blow it up, though, yeah. If I'm even in the area where I could possibly suck him, suck it, into the bomb, then the stuff that it shoots out is going to explode the bomb anyway. So close! It jumped away at the last moment. That was close. That was really close. It's almost like I just need to s suck it in and, you know, l uh, lava goo be damned. Just kind of ignore it and hope it lands in such a way that it doesn't hit me. Jumping away at the last moment. I don't know if it's specifically avoiding it or if it's just doing its natural thing and it just happens to be timed in a very devious timing way so that it doesn't quite hit before it does another jump. Stay near me. Oh god, yeah, there's no way I'm getting out of that. Yeah, I get the idea, it's just getting him over. I keep saying him, damn it. 
getting it over to the bomb without the bomb exploding beforehand is really tricky. Ooh. Oh! Son of a bitch! Hmm. Hold on. Hold on. I feel like this would have already happened naturally in the course of all the, the attempts that I've made, but maybe it can suck in the bomb. Maybe I need it to start sucking and get it to suck... It, like, it sucks towards me, right? I think. Tries to suck me into it. What if I get it to suck in the direction of the bomb? I feel like that would have already happened, just accidentally, but let's try it specifically. Okay, you, so you have like a quarter of a second to shoot it. Wow, all right. I still want to try the suckage thing, the bomb suckage. I want to see if it'll suck the bomb off, up. <laughs> this boss really sucks. In a good way. Hmm. Alright, I don't want it to blow up the bomb. It's gonna blow up the bomb, of course. Alright, so I need to move in a different direction so that it doesn't blow up the bomb, because I want it to suck. Oh, God. Maybe I shouldn't bother testing that. No, I really want to know, even if it's not gonna be the tactic I used to defeat it, I really want to know if it's possible. It's just, it seems like the bomb's kind of embedded in the ground, so I suspect it's not going to be able to be sucked up. God damn it. It's really hard to tell where those are going to land. There's shadows underneath them, but they're pretty subtle. You're gonna blow up the bomb! Oh, now you're really gonna blow up the bomb. Hmm. Oh, maybe it won't suck until there's another bomb. Or until there's uh, no bombs on the ground. I, in fact, I think that's the case, isn't it? Yeah! Alright, so forget that tactic. That's not gonna work. Hmm. 
It'll be quick on the draw and hit it right in the crystal. The one second opening that I have. I don't know how I actually got it to touch, to touch the bomb before. I can't think of any specific tactic that I used. I think it just somehow ended up working out. The funny thing is, if I get it, like, when it hits the bomb, chances are there's going to be a bunch of the lava stuff coming towards me while it hits the bomb, which means I'm going to need to extract my arrow and aim it, and I'm not going to be able to move to even dodge the lava stuff, so I'm kind of going to have to be lucky. the difficulty in these bosses is so wildly divergent. The Yeti took me like 50 tries, then another enemy took me two, and then this one is looking like another Yeti. really hard to keep it from blowing up its own bomb. That's not gonna work. Yeah, I don't know, I can't... I know what to do, I just can't think of a consistent tactic to make it happen. So close! I could have kept sucking, but then I would have gotten hit by the lava. It's almost like get it on the very first try or not at all and just die. The first time it throws out a bomb, it seems like that's the best time to do it. Blow up this bomb. Blow me up.
think... I wish I could draw a picture on my screen right now. I think I have an idea of a tactic. Yeah. I think I... basically need to attract it... on like a tangent line to the bomb. So that it's getting closer to the bomb, sort of, going kind of across it, glancing off it. So it gets closer, so I'm sucking it closer to the bomb, but it's not actually pointing at the bomb, which means it hopefully won't blow it up. Let's try that. Easier said than done, I'm sure. That's not exactly even doing the tactic I was talking about. Like this. Ah, oh, damn it. That was close. Kind of worked, though. It's off to the side. Come in this way. Come in this way. See what I'm getting at here? Kinda. That's gonna blow it up, unfortunately. Yes! Hell yeah! Boom! I'm scared if I touch the lava on the ground, I'm gonna die. <laughs> Let's not risk it. One down. Two to go. Alright, came from up there, right? Yeah. I almost want to end the episode here, because if the next one takes as long as that one did, then this episode is going to be over an hour long. But let me find the next one first and just see how easy I think it is. Let's see what we got to work with here. Okay, so I'm guessing the eye is the exposed part that I need to shoot, and it's going to be rolling around, so I need to shoot it when the eye is actually level with the ground. Okay. That makes sense. Question is, what are its moves? And the answer to that is... Okay. Rolls around like a ball. That was expected. Didn't quite expect it to be so fast. Oh, okay. <laughs> it leaves behind a, a trail of fiery death. Gotcha. Can I put, like, some fireproof pants on or something so I can walk through it at least for a second? Okay. 
feel like this boss can actually be defeated pretty easily. It kind of depends on luck. You just need the eye to be facing the right direction. But it looks like once it does the the super uh, rush, you have like 5 to 10 seconds where it doesn't rush. It just kind of gently tilts itself towards you. Oh god. Y yeah. <laughs> it seems to be kind of almost magnetically attracted to you. Where it doesn't go directly towards you, but it kind of... It, uh... What's the right word? It... Trends in your direction, I suppose. So it doesn't go straight for you, except when it rushes. Oh god. Come on, rush me. I feel like I can do this one pretty quickly. It's just gonna be kind of finicky. Oh, <laughs> I didn't mean to dodge in that direction, I meant to run. Like, I mean, yeah, that's pretty much as easy as I thought it was. The difficulty of these bosses is very, very strange. You've got the Yeti, which is extremely hard, and the Fire Jelly, which is extremely, extremely hard. And then you have enemies like this and uh, whatever the other one was that I fought that I defeated in the second try. Okay. Well, as the thing that I'm standing on says, there's one more, at least official, boss in this area. But I'm going to save that one for the next episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.